Hi, come on, love and the lovers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So those that are new to the channel, I am Angel Munya Ikomokoma Lavenda. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, tell me what are you doing? Why haven't you subscribed to my YouTube channel? Why haven't you? Because I've been posting every day. It's a good content for you. Anyway, that's fine. So I am just sitting here inside the calm. It's raining. It's a Sunday. Yeah. I went to church today and to be honest, I didn't want to post. <laughs> not feeling i'm feeling under the weather kind of vibe um, mentally i'm not doing good honestly i don't wanna lie but and all, like even yesterday i felt like i didn't want to post until something in me pushed me to say hey enjoy you need to keep the consistency because me doing this i'm doing it because i am challenging myself to be more consistent and to say because this is what i want it means that i need to really, really push it through and honestly, it's really not easy to keep on like being energetic and um, come here, sit, talk about something, think about content. Because if you're not like mentally well, honestly, content tends to not come all the time, kind of like, like it doesn't come like as normally when you are fine mentally right and that's really what is happening with me now at this point i have a lot of ideas that i want to i want to take i want to shoot but then game whenever i think of shooting not that whenever i think about whenever i think about shooting like i'll see in jay the day like already the day is gone maybe there's no lighting or maybe like i'm, I'm lazy because i'll wake up in the morning I'm like yeah that's what i'm gonna do yeah you're doing this hey guys the next thing I'm there by my bed, I'm doing my thing, just watching a movie or I'm just scrolling on social media, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I end up not doing anything. And I just noticed that, yeah, I don't know, I don't want to say that a girl is depressed. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's too big, honestly. I don't think I'm depressed, but then something is going on in my mind. <laughs> something. <laughs> So story time gonna vibe so maybe the more i talk maybe i'll get like energy so i went to this other interview right i think it's like a month ago yeah last month I went to this interview so i saw a post so they posted they're like okay they're looking for like a editor intern it's me applying i'm like okay cool shop they're like a stipend it's like five thousand hey hey <laughs> i okay i was like i know we can work with that let's see maybe you can go inside within the company and stand um, I go to the job interview like I get the I think it was in is it in Sensen? it's not Sensen. what's that place it's not even four ways it was in Renberg yeah I get there and then when I get there like I need I saw like a complex yeah, and then now I have to Uber to wait to the location so when I Uber then you see that Barchi do they call it Barchi or Bajaj I don't know what's that car the yellow car I Ubered that car and then I went to that place. So it's me calculating now, right? Like that from my house, I need to, like from my house, go to town, from town to take like Randbeck, Texas. And then from Randbeck, that complex, I need to take like an Uber today. Already that 5,000, like it's only on a transport. But then in my head, I'm like, maybe the um, location is going to be different. I get there, cool. It's an internship. Um, there's like a whole lot of students, bunch of students there. I was the oldest. Mm, yeah, that's what I can say. Okay, I got there cool and they started with me they're like okay give us your CV so I didn't go with a copy of my CV they wanted like a copy of the CV I was like can I please email it to you and then you can do a copy they're like yeah cool sharp I get inside then those people comes the people that have to interview you yo those guys they were so not like yo hi <laughs> why do people like when you go to an interview like people that are interviewing like the interviewee it's cool the English I don't know the interviewer the interviewee I don't know what you guys say. Okay, son. Yeah. They were so mad. Like, they were so, to like, not toxic per se. So, okay, cool. We I get inside the, like, angel when I, I was the first. I get there. They look here at me. It was two late, two gents and one lady. See there. They're looking at me. So, I sit down. I'm like, hi, guys. How are you, do are you doing? And I'm like, yo. So, I, I like, I, I laugh like a nervous laugh. I'm like, yo, guys, why are you looking at me like that? Because now you're making me nervous. And then I'm smiling. And then they look at me, both of them, they smile. And then the lady's like, no, don't be nervous. 
They're like, tell us about yourself. You know, that's a simple question, and okay, I did respond. The way. I don't know if it was good to their, to their standards, right? So during the interview, I can tell that the questions that they're asking me, it's not the questions of an intern. They are not looking for an intern. They're looking for a person who knows how to do the job, but then, but the name of an intern. Because I'm sitting there, that's the last question that they asked me. They like tell us about the motion, the motion, or telling the story um, while editing. So we're thinking, I'm like telling the story, editing, because you have to give me like a story. Then I interpret it. But at this point, if you're not giving me a story, then you need like a person who really knows the job, not me who's trying to be like an intern. You understand? Cool. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna give you like the right answer that you're looking for. So I better not respond to you because I'm gonna tell you things that are very, very wrong. And and they're like, oh, thank you so much. We don't have more questions for you guys. So on my door, on my way going out, I was like, thank you, thank you guys for giving me the opportunity. And I hope that you're looking for. I hope you get what you're looking for. And then I go out. So now there's a lady that we were coming to, so we took together. She stays in my lady, we're coming together. So now we're talking, I'm like, how was your interview? Because I told her, like, I'll wait for you, right? So that we can be together. I'm like, how was your interview? She tells me the very same story. She's like, yo, they even want me to work, like, on weekends. I'm like, where's the place you're going to be coming here? She's like, yeah. I'm like, bro, it's not worth it because it's 100 rand just to go there and then 100 rand coming back. So it means that you're going to be working for what transport only and also for me it wasn't also about the money it was about their approach and the things and the way they're doing it like them wanting a person who can work but hey, you are paying like shut their internship and i was like yo people it's not right and then i came back home so my friend is the one that plugged me to the like she she plugged me to the, to the job i'm like why didn't you apply she's like no i didn't apply because that guy the founder of that media company is very very toxic so i'm like why didn't you tell me that the guy is very toxic and why are you even advertising it on your whatsapp status if you know that the place is it's like really really toxic she's like no maybe other people they just want to go there and like just like they just want to go there and just understand and just experience I'm like, girl, you're supposed to tell me. So that's not the only media company that is exploiting people in the name of internship. Because people now, they apply. What is their thing, man? There's that thing, NYDA, like where companies, they apply for funds for internships. And then they look like, so a company will have to look like for internships. And then nyda pays the students so most of the media companies that's what they are doing so they apply for the, those funds and then right they are gaining obviously but it's like maybe nyda i don't know government is trying to give give back to the fam to the community kind of vibe but then most of the companies this is what they are doing now like they want to exploit people because it's me thinking the internship that i was doing guys come on i was earning more than that like i was having like a living and i was working from home like five thousand me haggers <laughs> then okay there's another one i'll tell you another day because i think i have a lot of story times yeah i'll tell you another another one about this other job that i went to and they were offering me for point one Anyway, lovers, if you would like me to do more of the story times i'll tell you about all these experiences especially now during vlogmas especially now during vlogmas please do let me know down below and i'll do more of the story times i love you love you so much until i see you next time keep smiling she's i'm very cheat and always yes yeah. <laughs>